All right, next up, Apple aims to become a closed-loop manufacturer. All right, stop. Don't read, Will. Don't read it. What does that mean? <clears throat> uh, it means that they want to... I'm guessing they want to just manufacture everything themselves. Yeah, so that's what... When I read the headline, that's what I thought as well. Okay. That they would want to take over some of the responsibilities of the vendors that they work with like to Samsung have, to example. have more control yeah but that's not apparently at least in this case that's not what it's referring to what it's referring to here is to minerals and mining oh quite uh, literally yeah okay mining raw materials ladies and gentlemen which kind of a topic that doesn't really get discussed that much when it comes to our smartphone habits the idea that you got to get a fresh one all the time. Where do your old phones go, Will? What are you doing with them? Garbage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just got a stack. A you got a drawer full. I mean, around here, we have some sort of amplified version of it because of the amount of phones that come in here. Yeah. We have an amplified version of it. So you see it. Man, those are, that's, those are, that's some amazing machinery that we're expected to turn over every couple of years. Yeah. If you really think about it. So... This closed loop concept is actually, it actually has to do with recycling old Apple products to make new ones instead of relying on the mining industry to get fresh minerals. Mm. But instead, they developed this robot called Daisy. And Daisy is basically like Wally. You remember Wally, the robot? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. He's going around and harvesting, he's recycling stuff, isn't he? Yes, he packs up the garbage into boxes and makes like mountains of them. But does he ever take he does he take the things that he could reuse as well, right? Uh well he doesn't know he's trapped on the thing. I don't know what his original I don't mission think was. So. He's trapped on that planet. But I'm just wondering what was his original what was he originally invented for? He's supposed to move garbage. Just around. just organize some stuff. Yeah, but then he becomes sentient and then he collects plants. All right, well, that's a little much. We're going to here. <laughs> it's a great movie. Yeah, no, I, no, I know. I can no, no, I know, I know. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Anyway, spoiler alert, you just spoil the whole movie. So. <laughs> you just spoil the whole movie. Years later, Wally. Yeah. So this device, Daisy, breaks apart 200 iPhones per hour. And it extracts 14 minerals, including lithium. And then those are recycled. And apparently there's been examples of this, including the 2018 MacBook Air and Mac Mini. And... According to this particular article, this first showed up, I believe, on Reuters, your favorite news source. Right on. Which you may want to just restate for the audience. It's, uh, it's Reuters.com. What did you call it the one time? Reuters? Routers. Routers. <laughs> <laughs> Routers. That was good. Yeah. Wi-Fi Routers.com. Uh, really cool, though. They... So... Instead of relying solely on the uh, mining industry, obviously the mining industry probably feels differently, but instead of solely relying on that, they can extract a fair amount of the minerals necessary to make the, their new products from their old products. And as you know, Apple continues to offer money for the old products. They want you to bring it in and they want to refurbish it. And they'll give you some sort of a discount on a new model if you do so. So there's some value left in those older devices. And through a robot like this one, some incredible tech right here, they can make it worthwhile to do it. Because you can imagine if you had to have a person disassembling 200 iPhones an hour, mm. it might not be economically feasible. That would be a lot of people and not everything is valuable in there. And so you can kind of automate the process. Now, the world is really uh, has a heavy consumption habit for a lot of these minerals right now, particularly with the rise of electric vehicles. Lithium and battery tech relies on similar, similar stuff. And so it's, you know, puts pressure on the earth, Will. Mm -hmm. it's putting, you're putting pressure on Mother Earth. How dare you? Now, I don't look. Yeah. I'm not one. I'm not, I'm not here to, I'm not going to lecture anybody or anything like that. But it, the idea of, reusing something it sounds like a good idea now apple came out i guess one of the one of their pr people we're not necessarily competing with the folks who mine so she says it's not lisa jackson said that she's the head of environment 
policy and social at Apple. She says there's nothing for minors to fear in this development. Hmm. All right, well, okay. I guess the, she's basically saying we're still going to need to buy a boatload. Yeah. Oh, we, with the, that lithium stuff, we still need it. Yeah. So don't stop mining. Yeah. We, we're doing 200 an hour over here. Daisy's pretty cool and whatnot. Yeah. But uh, please keep sticking your hose in the earth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> your vacuum hose. Uh, one other thing, we had a comment in this article from the guy, Kyle Weens. He's the guy from iFixit. He says, no dice. He ain't happy. He says there's this ego that believes they can get all their minerals back and it's not possible. He prefers to advocate for preparability. So does Lewis Rossman and this group. They say, don't ask for our products back. Let us hang on to them longer. Well, of course, corporate entity yeah. uh, in the business of selling you things, yeah. they're going to want you to get the fresh one. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how feasible that is, but they, they have tried on a, num a couple of different occasions to go from the angle of, hey, let's hold on to these things. They're perfectly good. Mm -hmm. Let's make them repairable. Or maybe not let's hold on to them, but let's make them repairable so if someone does want to hold on to them, they can. Right. Or a third party could do it, kind of like automotive. Because mm -hmm. you see cars. There's cars out there. You go buy a... I could go buy a 2006 right now. Mm -hmm. That's how it exists. Mm -hmm. And if I know my way around it, and I definitely do... <laughs> Then I could throw a, I could throw a, a catalytic converter in there. See, you didn't expect. I would even. You didn't expect. I knew that. No. So, I'll take that one and roll with it. Sure. So, nonetheless, Apple, the environment, they love to be associated. <laughs> they love this type of thing, and I like the idea of robots extracting lithium. So, what what more can I say? It's about? a win-win. I just like the idea of robots extracting lithium. Yeah. And there's an Apple logo at the end of it. 